Hi, welcome back to another episode of Muscle Minute. Today we are talking about whether a calorie is a calorie. Um, this is Justin Harris. I'm Brad Hull. And uh, go ahead. So that's a big topic you hear people talking <laughs> on the internet. A calorie is a calorie. Eat whatever you want. As long as you're under your calorie amount, you're going to lose weight. If you're over your calorie amount, you're going to gain weight. And that is true. That's thermodynamics. And and the people that argue against a calorie is a calorie t- tend to get caught in that trap of arguing against thermodynamics. And I'll say as a physicist, you can't argue thermodynamics. Every physics student, every physicist for the last 150 years has tried to disprove thermodynamics. And if, if you can disprove it even once, you win the Nobel Prize. So you can trust that a calorie is a calorie as far as what amount of storage nutrients are in your body. Now, the thing that people miss is that body composition varies widely. You know, a 250-pound bodybuilder looks very different than a 250-pound overweight woman. And that is where a calorie is a calorie falls short. And so that's where your macros come into play. And so when you, you, if you have 2,000 calories, if your metabolism is 2,000 calories and you eat 2,000 calories of fat, you're going to look very different than if you eat 2,000 calories of a healthy mix of protein, carbohydrates, and healthy fats and work out with it. And that's where the, the mess of a calorie calorie comes in. And that's, that's why bodybuilders do get it right by eating their higher protein, complex carbohydrates, uh, and, and essential fatty acids diet as, as opposed to what a lot of the calories or calorie people like to propose on the internet, which is eat whatever you feel like. If you want to eat ice cream all day, as long as you're under your calorie goal, you'll lose weight. You will lose weight, but if you're eating only ice cream, you're going to be losing muscle probably. And then the worst part about that is when you lose muscle, a calorie is a calorie falls again, falls short the next day because your metabolism is lower because muscle is is actually a a uh, a calorie. How am I going to it? Muscle takes calories to sustain it. Each pound of muscle takes about 50, 50 calories a day to maintain, mm-hmm. and so two hundred. 200 pounds of muscle will require more calories to eat to maintain that 200 pounds than 200 pounds of fat will. So that's where it really falls falls fat flat on its face or fat on its face. And so that that's where bodybuilders do get it right. Well, and it, hasn't there been uh, like some studies that have that have come out or been out talking about like if you are at a leaner uh, uh, if you have a leaner physique, then you're going to process those calories so much better. So yeah, you, yeah. you can eat. Uh, more calories, or you call it worse calories, mm-hmm. or what I deal with 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 a lot of girls is they're like, well, that skinny bitch can eat anything she wants, and it's not that she's just naturally has a fast metabolism; if she has more muscle than you, yeah. then then yeah, she's going to be able to metabolize more more calories yeah. in general. But she probably didn't get that way. She may have, uh, you know, depending on her parents, but she probably didn't get that way by eating, yeah. you know, snacking on just carbs and fat like chips and yeah. And, and if you've ever like watched Secret Eaters. Every study, and there are many, many studies on. I don't want to turn this into a, a, a anti-healthy at every size movement thing, or, but if you every study ever done on overweight people shows that or overweight people who don't exercise shows that they inaccurately uh, calculate their calories and inaccurately calculate their energy expenditure. But not only that, they when compared to someone who exercises and knows about nutrition, the overweight people not only say they ate. Uh, less calories than they did, but they say they ate less calories than the person. So say you're a, you're a skinny bitch and I'm a fat bitch. Okay. You, that said, you, you reported that you ate 1,200 calories. What the study shows, you usually ate between 12 and 1,300 calories. I report that I ate 1,100 calories, which is less than you, but not only did I not eat 1,100 calories, usually I eat somewhere around 2,000 calories. Mm. It's, and that's where, that's why people think, oh, she gets to eat everything she wants. They don't, they're just so, people are really bad at, at and understanding their calorie intake, and, and that's usually where it comes from. Okay. And that's, uh, yeah, and, and that's another thing. Most studies show that metabolism really doesn't vary that, you know, like someone has a high metabolism or someone's an ectomorph, or most studies show that cal- the metabolism varies really pretty mildly, uh, certainly not enough to cause wild fluctuations from a 300-pound person to a 120-pound person on the same caloric diet, and not at all. It's, it's very small fluctuations. It's just that overweight people do eat more than they think they eat and uh, and exercise less than they think they exercise. That makes sense.